Hey guys, it's your girl Miss Shake coming at you with my love affairs for January 2011. It's quite a bit of lipstick because I've been like going through lipstick a lot this month. I'm trying to finish stuff. I'm going to mention products that I want to add but I couldn't find them for the life of me. And you'll hear about that in my previous video about, or maybe after. I don't know when it's going to post. But I was complaining that I couldn't, I keep losing makeup and then finding it and losing it again. And, and a current favorite that I was using for the first half of the month was the MAC MSF, the MAC, not MSF, the MAC Mineralized SPF 15 Cream Foundation, it's like in the pan. I was really loving that this first half of the month until it disappeared and I couldn't find it anymore, along with my Dirty Plum Blush from MAC, along with my Sweet Joy eyeshadow that I was using for highlighting and my lith and mauve mint pigments so those are items that I would have had in this video if I could find them maybe I'll find them for my next month favorites but at this rate it doesn't look like it but it's okay and to the stuff that I do have I'm loving my fix plus doesn't look like I've used a lot but I was only using this like for the first half of the month when I was using my MAC cream foundation, the MSF, not the MSF, sorry, the mineralized SPF 15 one. Like it would help, like, because when I was first using it, I didn't like the current application of it. And when I started using this, like spraying my brush with this, then going, doing my face and sections, it came out very smooth not too cakey looking and I didn't need a lot of product so I was really liking this and that com combined hopefully I find it again because I was really enjoying that foundation I thought I was going to have to like just give it back and like back to MAC it without using it but I'm actually really liking it right now well I was until I couldn't find it anymore but then I've been liking my MSF Naturals to set my foundation with I go on its own I'm wearing it on its own today I've been really liking that for blushes, I've been liking my Darkly My Dear Matte Blush from MAC. It's like a brown, brownish plum color. As well as Bite of an Apple. It doesn't, it's not as intense as it's coming up on cam, but it's still a bright coral pink. I've been loving this. As well as I have two more blushes I've been really loving um, rhubarb from MAC it's really intense and I love it I'm wearing it today on my cheeks and I've had it like buffed out quite a bit but I really like this as well as MAC salsa rose look, look, yet again it's looking very bright but it's not as bright as it shows up here when you put it on then for my eyes I've been loving for like bases my Estee Lauder double wear stay in place shadow creams This one is in number 15, Deep Orchid. I've been loving these more than paint, po paint pods, matte paint pods. Like, I was trying to use my Coral Crepe one the other day, and I didn't like how it was going on. It just felt awkward. I don't know, maybe I have to play around with it more. And then, this one is in Blue Velvet, number 8. It's such a pretty color. really like them. They apply really smooth and all that wonderful stuff. Then I've been loving my Shimmer Moss eyeshadow. It's a permanent color for MAC, but I got it in the limited edition packaging from To the Beach. As well as Green Maker Satin Star Flash eyeshadow. This was limited edition. I'd opened it, but it's shattered and it's like all powder in there. I've been loving this as a highlight, as, long as, as well as my Sweet Joy. 
than than loving vain glorious. It's like a really dark. It reminds me of dark purple plum. Reminds me of Beauty Mart, but with better color payoff. Like I use them together, so I don't really complain. I usually do this like on my crease and like above my crease, then the beauty mark in my crease to darken it up, and it looks so pretty. I've been loving my hip duo in shady, especially like the darker brown, like when I'm just doing a neutral eye. I just put it in my crease, define, define my crease a bit. Eyeshadows with my friend this month. Been loving my NARS duo in Kula Lumper. Sorry guys, I'm probably butchering that like usual. But it's like a purple duo, like this one's like a burgundy color. It's like pretty and this it's like a nice pink, but it's like dual chrome. Sometimes you look at it, it gives like a purple look to it. So I like this duo. I'm eventually going to get more NARS stuff once I figure out this whole losing makeup issue. I've been loving my Maybelline quads, like the, yeah, my Maybelline quads, but this is the one I've been using the most this month, and it's number 70 time for wine. I'm really liking this for like every day, for the most part. And then... For like, I've been wearing a lot of purple smoky eyes lately, and I've been using the MAC Be Six Beauty Play It Cool palette from the holiday collection this year, and like the top, well the top row that you can see, I've been using that for like the look, along with this bottom silver color right here. It's like a silver purple. As a highlight, it looks so amazing. One day I'm going to do a tutorial on this, hopefully soon. But I've been loving that look. Oops. And then for like a neutral, like, brown, like, brown look. Like, everyday look that's like more than the other one, like, a little more intense. I've been using my Color 4 quad from... Mac that came out in the spring forecast collection. These ones I've been loving all the colors. I don't really use this one when I'm using it. I usually use Sweet Joy, but this is a really pretty highlight color as well. And then for my last color I've been really liking for eyeshadow wise is Beauty Marked, which I was talking about with my Vainglorious. It's like the same color family, but this one doesn't have as much payoff. It more gives off more of a black payoff than Vainglorious, which gives off more like a burgundy color. So I like those together. And then for mascara and eye primer and eyeliner, I've been loving my Urban Decay Primer Potion. My Urban Decay 24-7 liner in zero. My Great Lash mascara in black is black. The Maybelline Falsies. I'm almost done with this, guys. I'm so proud of myself. I'm actually having like gonna have a video coming up in the next couple of months of stuff that I hit hit pan on or finished and everything. And my last eyeliner is Black Track Fluid Line. I'm actually getting somewhere with this, guys. I remember when I first bought it, I never thought I'd use it. I just bought it to buy it because everyone was talking about it. But I'm making progress. Like, I'm getting somewhere, so I'm liking that. And then, the last things are my lips. I've been into, like, colored and nude, but I've been sticking to, like, three colored ones and like three nude ones well four nude ones I've been loving my petals and peacock from MAC it's an amplified it's like a bright magenta I've been loving that 
I've also been loving my Mac Violetta still. Like, when I will get another one of these because it's like a pro item. So when I do finish this, I'm going to get another one because like one of my favorite lipsticks to wear. I'll wear it whenever. And I've been loving my MAC Toxic Tail. It's like a bright red coral. Like when I wear it, it looks more orange on me. And I like that because I wanted to get that neon orange that came out with the most recent MAC collection. And I did it because it gave me the same look as this one. And I don't need both. Sorry. So yeah, those are the bright ones I've been loving. And then... For lip glosses to go with those, the Strange Potion to go with the Toxic Tail. It's like a c soft coral. I put this on like the center of my lip when I wear it, so it's not it's lighter in here. Not the whole lip, because it gives it like a weird milky look. And I don't like it. I've been using my Revenge is Sweet, and you can see that I've actually made headway in it. It's actually like dipping down. So I'm guessing I'll be finishing these this year. And then Hot House Lip Glass. I'm really liking that over the Petals and Peacocks. And then for my nude lips, I've been loving Toasted Almond by the L'Oreal Color, the L'Oreal Color Reach Lipstick. It's this one. It's a nice nude. Like my lip, but better nude. Been loving Fresh Brew. It's permanent by Mac. I've been loving Nars Little Darlings, another great new color. This one was limited edition. It came out with the holiday collection this year. And my Maybelline Color Sensational Total Taffy. I love this lipstick. I'm wearing it today with Mac chestnut liner and then for lip glosses for those I've only been alternating between two my max devilishly stylish lip glass and my fold in my nope light that fire lip glass like I have like I've gotten to like this much into it left that's all that's left I'm so I'm doing good with all my makeup and those are my favorites for this past month. I'll see you guys in another video. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye.